the princess and the pea. There was once happened a time a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but she must be a true princess. So he traveled through the whole world to find on, but there was always something against each. Here were plenty of princes, but he could not find out if they were true princes. In every case, here was some little defect which showed the genuine article was not yet found. So he came home in very low spirits, for he had wanted very much to have a true princess. One night there was a dreadful storm, it thunder and lightened, and the stream down in torrents. It wore fearful the west knockings, here at the palace and paid, and the old king wanted to open it. There stood a princess outside the gate, but oh, what a sad plight! There was in from the rain and the storm. The water was running down from her hair and her dress into the points of her shoes and out at the hills again. Yet she said she was a true princess. Well, we shall soon find that out, told the old queen, but she said not him, and went into the sleeping room, took off all the bedclothes and laid a pea on the bottom of the bed. Then she put twenty mattresses on top of the pea and twenty uh, either down queen quilts on the top of the mattresses. This was the bed in which the princess was to sleep. The next morning she was asked how the had slept. Oh, very badly, said the princess. I scarcely closed my eyes at night. I am sure I don't know what was in the bed. I light on something so hard that my wall body is black and blue. It was dreadful. Now they perceived that she was a true princess, because she had felt the pea through the twenty mattresses and the twenty underdown quilts. No one but a true princess could be so sensitive. So the princess married her, for no he knew that at last he had gotten a hold of a true princess. The pea was packed into the royal museum, where it is still too big sin. If no one has stolen it, know this a true story.